Today, Phil and I are playing the Isle Landing mission from Gung Ho. My army consists of a Ho Hai Chu Tai HQ with regimental standard, two Ho Hai platoons with banners, a Ho Hai machine gun platoon, a Ho Hai rapid fire gun platoon with Type 1 37mm guns, a Ho Hai regimental gun platoon with two Type 41 75mm guns, a Censure Platoon of 5 Type 97 Chai Ha tanks Limited air support from Zeros My army consists of a Marine Rifle Company HQ two Marine Rifle Platoons one with two LVT Amtraks an Assault Section a Marine Amphibian Tank Platoon with three LVT tanks Marine Machine Gun Platoon An Anti-Tank Platoon A Marine Rocket Launcher Battery with Extra Crew And Limited Air Support with Napalm And the objectives are going to be pretty much in the center of the table Decent meters on And at least 52 to there Yep, I'm going to hold this bridge. Ho Hai Platoon, Ho Hai Rapid Fire Gun Platoon, Ho Hai Machine Gun Platoon, and my Ho Hai Chu Tai HQ with the regimental standard here. Main Rifle Platoon with two LVTs, HQ section, and half the assault section. Marine Amphibian Tank Platoon. Marine Rifle Platoon with 2IC and half the assault section. And then I rolled to see how far each platoon drifted. Two of my M tanks and one of my M tracks bogged on the way in. And the rest of my stuff just moved forward. I managed to kill one of Phil's infantry teams. Same dude. Nice flag. As part of the mission, my entire force starts the game pinned down. First to attempt to unpin were the rapid fire guns. They failed, so the regimental standard joined them, automatically getting them unpinned. The machine guns fortunately passed and the infantry stayed pinned down. My rapid fire guns opened fire, knocking out an amp tank and bailing out an amp track. My heavy machine guns destroyed three marine infantry tanks. Because two of my tanks bogged down and I lost one during Phil's shooting, I must make a morale test. It's very vital that I pass this because I don't want to lose my tanks this early in the game. Luckily, they pass morales in 3+. Plus. My amp tracks failed their morale, so my infantry had to jump out and fire. Then the amp tracks retreated. My machine gun platoon and anti-tank guns landed, and my whole army started to advance. My left flank fired at Phil's gun teams and failed to hit a single one, and my right flank managed to kill one infantry set. My infantry moved into assault Phil's right flank. My defensive fire repelled the assault, killing two teams. And I fell back. My regimental banner automatically rallied my pinned down infantry. My heavy machine guns shot up the marine rifle platoon and knocked out two light machine guns of the enemy. My rapid fire guns knocked out another M tank. My tank and LMGs moved up into position. I want to assault with my unpinned rifle platoon. So I moved them up into the palm woods and I brought forward the ant tracks that retreated last turn to support. The shooting from my left flank pinned down the anti-tank guns and killed one HMG. On my right flank, my rifle platoon shot ahead Phil's infantry, but he passed all the steps. Fine. Him. Fine. Him. Fine. I moved into assault. I lost one bazooka from Phil's defensive fire, and I was able to destroy Phil's team in the woods. I won the assault because none of the teams were in assault range, and I consolidated into the concealing terrain. And that was my Nikuhaku team, my only anti tank defense on this flank. I waved the regimental banner, automatically unpinning my guns. With a lucky six, I got reserves and brought on my Type 97 Chiha tanks at the double. 
I redeployed my infantry over towards the left flank, worried about the marines in the plantation. My anti-tank guns managed to hit his last tank, but only bailed it out. I barely passed my morale check on a three. The time was right to bring on my rockets, and they drifted exactly where I wanted them. The anti-tank gun that was stuck in the surf finally managed to free itself and moved into position. I moved both my infantry up so that my flamethrowers can get prime targets on both his infantry platoon and his HMG platoon. My flamethrower was able to kill the HMG and pin the HMG platoon. My second platoon's flamethrower killed an infantry team in the shattered woods, pinning the infantry platoon. So the combined shooting from my left flank was able to take out both of Phil's anti-tank guns and one of his HMGs and an infantry stand. I charged into the assault, only losing one team from Phil's defensive fire, and I managed to kill two of his teams in my initial assault. Waiting the regiment of banner, I counterattacked, and with good swordplay, we finished the Yanks off, and then consolidated. The rapid fire guns passed their assault survivor tests, so don't go nuts. The other platoons unpinned without even needing the regimental standard. My tanks then moved up and opened fire, missed the Amtraks, but got a marine team with their machine guns. The HMG then joined in, picking off another. <laughs>